everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Meet the Pros. We're really excited that you're here. Um, really thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. Uh, for those of you who are new to Meet the Pros, um, it is our weekly uh, interview series where we get the opportunity to talk with some of our uh, customers and Ecom Live users um, from all different kinds of backgrounds and all different kind of um, lengths of time of using the tool to be able to give you a good understanding of uh, how different people are using it and what their tips and tricks are. Um, I'm Katie. Um, I run marketing here at Ecamm. Um, if you want to find out more about us and our various uh, software products, you can visit us at ecamm.com, E-C-A-M-M.com, -M um, and we're really excited you're here. So I'm really looking forward to introducing you to today's guest, uh, Sharon Daly Danley. Um, she's here with us from Toronto, Canada. Uh, she is a retired master makeup and hair artist, and she coaches um, the maturing femme fatale in healthy beauty and confident aging with simplicity, strength, style, and grace. All right, bringing her on. Welcome, Sharon. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you, Katie. I'm excited to be here, too. Awesome. So um, we'll kick it off with just an intro question. I know um, you sent us along a bio that we just read off, but we'd love to uh, get to know you a little bit better, um, a little bit more about how you got started uh, and what you're, what you're using live streaming for. Okay, well, I am a retired uh, master artist, and I've worked in film and television. Wow. Uh, I've coached business people and executives and ran a bridal company, all that sort of wow, thing. Wow, that's awesome. I, I'm, and I have also do special effects, uh, but, you know, that's not where I continue to go. Although the older I get, the more I think <laughs> I need them. Uh, just kidding, just kidding. I think, we, because I think we all use special effects. That sounds nice for everyone. <laughs> But you know, makeup is a tool. Yeah. It's a tool like every other business tool. Definitely. Uh, a tool to to put your best self forward in whatever market you're in. Mm -hmm. Because people will listen to you and watch you when you're well-groomed and well -groomed. They'll give pay more attention to you. Mm -hmm. And when you use good voice tone and project your voice so that it can be heard and understood. Mm -hmm. All those things combine to make a great presentation for whatever you're selling. Definitely. And I know that um, particularly with makeup uh, tutorials, they've become so incredibly popular with the rise of social media and certainly with YouTube and Facebook Live. So it's, I'm sure, a really great niche for you to be jumping into and, um, and exploring, especially with your background. Yes, and I, I I have focused on the mature femme fatale, as you said. Yeah, definitely. But because, you know, we're left out of the market, mm -hmm. you know. The, mm -hmm. the beauty industry does not um, cater to our specific needs as we age. So mm -hmm. there's a big hole there, so I'm helping to fill it. And uh, giving good advice from sage uh, 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 background definitely. to help in the most simple, streamlined, cost-effective, eco-smart way possible. That's awesome. So I have a niche market, and what I do also is I do digital make betters. I call them oh, fun. Or, instead of or makeovers for people. So sure. business people or just women, you know, looking to improve themselves, mm -hmm. they can mm -hmm. send me a, a, a picture of their profile. Okay. And I put it through my Photoshop spa. I don't use filters or anything else like that. I just use color mm -hmm. and paint, and I enhance their look. So that they can oh, then nice. use that image for business, for for social media, mm -hmm. for whatever it is, and I don't charge anything. Oh, I only awesome. I only ask that they pay it forward mm -hmm. to a person or group in their postage stamp of the world in need in my daughter's name. Oh, that's awesome! What a great mm -hmm. I, what a great thing to do. I know it's sort of one of the things that everyone overthinks and panics about is that having that kind of professional quality photo of themselves, especially as you have different social platforms in different places where you're putting yourself and your business out there. Um, that's huge. That's a really neat. It's, it's, it's your, your today in today's social media world, your profile is your calling card mm -hmm. because you are judged within the first seven seconds on how you look. Yep. Yeah. Sad, but true. <laughs> but it's, the, it's just a fact. Yes. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, go ahead. So then I started, you know, once things got rolling along, I decided that I was going to get into the live aspect of this awesome. because I was awesome. asked a lot of questions and things. And so I thought doing a live would be a better way to help people. And so I tried a couple of other programs oh, that just 
I won't go there. <laughs> and it happened on Ecamm Live. And a big shout out to Herman Drost for having, uh, you know, told me about it. Thanks, Herman. We appreciate it. Yes. And I got to tell you, I fell in love right away, right away with the program awesome. because it was streamlined. It was simple. Mm-hmm. It was effective. It was professional. And I could expand as much or as little as I needed to do. Yeah, that's definitely one of the the goals that we try to hit with the program is that, you know, easy enough for virtually anyone to pick up and be running with, but allow that level of growth that as you're getting more into it and as your business is growing through the power of live video, you're able to add on and try out and play with all of those different features. Um, yeah. I know, you know, at sort of our it, within some of our online communities, uh, it's the it's the kind of push all the buttons mentality. So it's you know, <laughs> go ahead and try and try everything out and give it a whirl and see oh, yeah. what works best for you and what your favorite tools and features are because it, it is so different for each different person and their different business and their different use case for sure. Exactly. Now, in my case, I tend to keep everything neutral and black because the the, the focus of what I'm doing is the face. Mm-hmm. So, so, so everything quiet in the background is really good. Not a lot of overlays or anything like that. Definitely. And when I get to the question portion of the lives that I do, because I use it as a classroom. Mm-hmm. So I, I do maybe two or three make betters and show the before and the after and explain what I've done. And I love that I can move the pictures around. I can enlarge them or make them smaller, add other things into the pictures. And, and that's really helpful. And then I open it up to questions for the classroom style mm-hmm. where I, I, I keep the black because it's like a black board. Yeah, no, definitely. And so when uh, c- c- commenters come up, they're featured they're featured on a black background so they show up really well and i have found that my followers really like that feature yeah it's it's one that um i would say most people that we talk with that use the tool it's one of their favorite features just because it definitely i I would say that one of the biggest benefits of live streaming is that ability to really directly engage with an audience and i think it makes people feel really special and really appreciated when you're not only answering and addressing their their comment or their question um, but able to kind of showcase it in a really unique way. And I, I think that's smart that you have a, that darker background. They really pop there and really kind of give that extra um, yeah. above and beyond, you know, um, moment of excitement for someone that is leaving that comment for sure. Exactly. So, it, yeah, it does feature them and uh, and it just seems to work really well. And uh, and then other times I, I, I will do a demo. And this is what I love about Ecamm oh, Live is that I can do... Uh, so sometimes, depending on where I'm at, I will do a demo on my phone. Oh, neat. Great. And, and then put it through, you know, uh, iMovie mm-hmm. to, to just edit it and get it the way I want. Then I can just upload it to um, Ecamm Live uh, uh, to show a demo of a particular aspect of something that, that I'm doing a live about. Mm-hmm. And really put it off beautifully, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's huge. And it, it's definitely... An easy way to do it, just be able to plug in your phone and be able to um, to, to bring that up and be able to demo that way. Do you do any sh- um, screen sharing as well, or is it mostly your phone you're using? I've just started to screen share. In fact, I'm doing my first one, uh, my first one on Ecamm Live through Skype tonight. Oh, good luck! Because I do the other part of my personality. I do advocacy work, oh, and wonderful. I've been doing it for fifty plus years on women and children's sexual safety. Oh, so thank you for I'm that. awesome. doing an interview with uh, somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be talking about you know certain aspects of things, and so uh, I've I've done a test drive on. My, I have a testing page on Facebook Great. that I can do this with so I had a couple of friends go through it with me this morning Perfect. so that when I do it tonight it's all there and I'm mm-hmm. excited to try the Skype because it seems to work quite well yeah definitely I mean that's how we run um, all of these interviews it's pretty it's pretty intuitive and it comes in pretty easily um, if I can do it you guys can all do it um, I'm definitely <laughs> newer to all of this so I'm learning here alongside with you um, but yeah it's it's an easy way to do it and I think most people are pretty familiar with Skype at this point and it's a you know, mm-hmm. easy to use tool. So yeah, glad to hear it. Good luck. We can't wait to see, uh, to hear about it. I guess we, we yes. wouldn't see it. And that here's either. the other feature that I absolutely love about Ecamm Live is that it records whatever mm-hmm. you do. And so I have sometimes taken that out and put it through, uh, iMovie mm-hmm. and edited it down certain aspects yep. of it and kept it. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's just, I don't have to try and download what's been posted elsewhere or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's right there in the program. It's, 
It's amazing. Yeah, it is definitely nice to be able to um, cut things up. I know, you know, sometimes when we're posting to Instagram, for example, which has like really restrictive limits and sizes for files, yeah. it's nice to just be able to do like a really, you know, quick and easy clip and then drive people back to check out the full video. Um, it's it's just makes it so much easier to th just automatically has it there on your computer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. So how often are you going live and on what channels? Well, I'm on, um, I have a two channels that I use it for on Facebook. Okay. Uh, one is uh, Sharon Danley Beauty, mm -hmm. and the other one is a closed page uh, for uh, women who are, you know, embracing their gray hair. They're growing it out and that sort <laughs> awesome. of thing. So, you know, so, so, so it's, it's, it's very private, mm -hmm. and there's about 20,000 on that. Mm -hmm. And it's not only just for gray hair, but it's for, it's for aging in general, yeah. and there's a lot of really good topics on it. So I do that twice a week. Okay. I do live twice a week on that channel. Wow. And on the YouTube channel, every other week I do a live do, showing Make Betters and having a classroom situation where I teach something. And then the opposite week, I, I throw up a video that I've made on something else. Awesome. So I get a good bit of use out of it. Yeah. And 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 I'm looking to use it more. Great. Uh, on on Facebook, well, from the advocacy perspective. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure it's a, a powerful way to be able to reach people and really be able to answer their questions and address them. Um, I'm sure it's, oh, it would be a really good tool for that. Yes, it's brilliant for that. And again, people commenting, being brought up onto mm -hmm. the page so we can see who they are. And what what is really good, too, if people haven't clicked on the Ecamm Live link when you're doing, um, you, you know, your lives, they can remain anonymous. Mm -hmm. Within the group, yeah. Mm -hmm. for people to have. Yeah. They may want to say something, but they want to remain anonymous. Yeah, I'm talking about the advocacy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, that's a great option. Oh, hang on one second, I'm having some sound issues with my headphones. All right, I think, I think we're good. Thanks for patience. Live video. <laughs> um, all right, so um, when did you start using Ecamm Live? How long I you started using it? Ecamm about a year and a half ago. Yeah, or maybe not a year and a half, maybe, maybe 13, 14 months ago, something like that. Awesome. And uh, I, I, like I said, I fell in love with it right away. It was so intuitive. Mm -hmm. And he, here's something I have to add. I find the customer service at Ecamm Live, bar none, the best. Oh, thank you. We're so thrilled to hear that. I know that the team works really hard to try to. Sincerely, I mean, I'm all about, you know, uh, complaints when necessary and I'm all about it and I know and I do yeah. and I'm all about you know uh, honoring those who, who do a good job in fact I had I had an issue on the weekend which was my fault um, and and I posted something on the beta group mm -hmm. and it was Ken that answered wow. and Great. kept with Great. me until I got it done and now that was a Saturday afternoon mm -hmm. It probably was with family and that sort of thing. I was so grateful that he helped me through that. Mm -hmm. That 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 is going above and beyond, and that's customer service par excellence. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know. Um, one of the benefits uh, for those of you who are are watching who haven't yet subscribed or joined um, either of our communities, we have two Facebook groups. Um, one that's just open to everyone. Um, to talk about Ecamm Live and be able to ask uh, questions. And Ken and Glenn um, certainly keep tabs on that group. So if there's anything that's a little bit more uh, nuanced or someone's really struggling, they do double check in and um, are usually pretty quick to answer. And then you mentioned the beta group as well. So um, we're constantly making updates and iterations to the tool to make sure that it um, is the best it can be and in introducing different features and fixes. Um, so the beta groups are a really great opportunity, um, open to anyone that wants to join to help us test it out and to be able to ask questions and um, give the team a lot of feedback on uh, what's working, what maybe isn't quite there yet, um, and where we could go in the future. So uh, we appreciate all our beta users, but certainly a great, a great opportunity if you want to be a little bit more playful and get to push all of those buttons and let us know um, how it could be better or where, you know, where improvements are. So, And also I find that the, the other, the other members that are on the beta are very helpful people. Definitely. They're very, it's a great community to belong to. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, we all, you know, we all have our, our Facebook app, app on our phones and I feel like sometimes the people within the community are like so fast and getting back and answering that I just get a notification yeah. and I jump over and the, the question is already answered. So it's definitely a really engaged, excited community, which is uh, awesome, both for us and for our users. Oh, yes, for sure. 
For sure. Um, so we talked a little bit about comments. Do you have any other favorite um, Ecamm Live features or features that um, you use often or maybe some that you're testing right now in beta that you think have a ton of potential for you and your, and your specific use case? Well, um, I, I uh, as I said, I, because of my market and using Ecamm as a more of a classroom style, uh, and I'm not marketing myself in any way, shape, or form, uh, my needs are a bit different, perhaps. But when I, I see on the beta group, when I see that some of the people are doing it, amazing there's so many wonderful things like the overlays and the bottom thirds and and all that sort of thing are uh, are just amazing um i'm just i'm just more of the standard kind of a dame you know when it comes to uh, to, to 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 my needs to beca just because of the market the niche market that i'm in does that make any sense yeah no um so right. more sound okay. technical difficulties here. oh dear <laughs> Bro broken headphones i think i'm good that's a thanks, that's Glenn. A live, eh? I know. <laughs> I just ordered new headphones, but they have not yet arrived. So. Oh dear. <laughs> um, yeah. No. Awesome. I um, heard most of that answer, so I appreciate it. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, tips and tricks. Are there anything um, that you've learned along the way? You've been using it, um, you know, yeah. among some of our um, our longest users. So certainly, would love to hear some of the things that you've learned as you've been playing around. Well, one of the things I, I think is that's really important is to, um, and I'm just this is an overall thing for your presentation, keeping your your background, your overlays, and everything um, in conjunction with what you're putting forward. Mm -hmm. Got too much stuff going on; it interferes with the focus of your message. Yeah, the content. It yeah, supports your message. That's a different story. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to support your message, not override it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the other thing is, know your subject matter and know where you're headed before you do your live. Mm, good advice. Like, what I like to do is have a Word document where I put my points down, mm -hmm. and on on the screen I have it just below uh, where where I'm 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 looking into the video, so that I've got it right there, accessible to me. I can just look down a little bit, and and my points are there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah, definitely. so, and so having a a beginning, a middle, and an end to your live is important. Mm -hmm. I think. Also, how do you open up? You know, make it, and and you want to have something that is fairly consistent because it's a bit of a marketing in a way. Mm -hmm. And when you close off, how do you want to close off to your particular market? Mm -hmm. What's what's your sign off that you that you want to have? And it would be different for every kind of market, of course. And here's the other thing, and it's a business tip that most people probably know, but... No, always good for reminders. <laughs> think about what, what is the benefit to your followers mm -hmm. of watching you? That, that's, it's, uh, that's it's, huge. You know, it's not about you telling, it's about you helping. Mm -hmm. You know, so figure out what your market, what is it that they're looking for in you, and then give them that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and in their feedback, in their comments, you'll know if you're on target mm -hmm. or not. And the other thing that I think is helpful, too, is if you're trying something new, ask your audience, um, how did they like this? Mm -hmm. Would you, they like you to continue on in this direction? Is there some other aspect they'd like you to bring into it or whatever? Engage them, ask them what works best for them. And then, of course, you can you can decide you know, which direction to go in um, aside from that. Yeah. And then the other thing is, uh, you know, just being well-groomed and well-presented. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you a vocal tip here that people often ignore. And especially uh, in, in a universe where we have a lot of different um, accents and things, mm -hmm. if you give every vowel, consonant, and diphthong, now, a diphthong is the secondary sound in two vowels together. Mm -hmm. If every one of them, their full and intended value in a word, hmm. and you 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 put everything in that it should be, you will have perfect pacing. Oh, interesting. You have a beautiful and compelling sound. And it's compelling to people. They want to 
they're drawn in. They want to listen more. Mm -hmm. It's an example. Might say, most of us will say Saturday. Mm -hmm. When the word is Saturday. Yep. You know what I mean? Without going overboard about it. But just give each vowel, consonant, and diphthong its full value. Your voice will be fantastic. And keep, remember, uh, you know, 55% of your presentation, no matter what the subject matter, is how you look. And the other uh, 45% is how you sound. Absolutely. I, that's fantastic advice that I've never heard before, actually. So that's great. Something well, I'll be keeping tabs on. Yeah, I used to coach uh, business people in their presentation skills oh, neat. as well. So, so this, that's, that's all part of it. And it's often overlooked. I believe it. I believe it. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to have all, you, all the wonderful things that Ecamm Live can present. Now you want to be as good as Ecamm Live is. <laughs> Definitely. The tool can <laughs> only take you so far. The rest of it is up to you. Content and presentation style, for sure. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Awesome. And, that was a ton it, of helpful info. Oh, that's good then. I hope so. Um, and, you know, interaction with your followers, of course, is great. Oh, and here's another thing that I found, it, and I played around with it at the beginning. I used to acknowledge the followers as they came on. Mm -hmm. I think that's disruptive. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I, I, as they come on. Now, again, it depends on what you're doing. Absolutely. With the classroom style... To break the rhythm, mm -hmm. to uh, somebody isn't good. So what I've done is I say, you know, we, I, I, it's followed by a question and answer. Mm. I have two, two segments followed by a question and answer. As soon as I'm finished the first segment, then I go in and then I I acknowledge everybody mm -hmm. and bring up any questions that they might have about that segment and so forth. And then when that's finished, I go on to the second segment don't pay attention to the to followers until the segment is finished and then bring them up and then I have an in-depth question and answer and I find that that seems to work everyone becomes it is acknowledged but the, there's not a lot of interruption while you're doing your shtick whatever it may be yeah yeah no that's um that's really good advice I know we've kind of gone back and forth with that ourselves sometimes too you want to be able to engage and make sure that people know that that you see that they're there but at the same time it can be disruptive so that's interesting i think it yeah. definitely varies by use case with exactly what you're of doing course. of course of yeah. course and here's the other thing you know and of course we all know this wherever you can inject a little humor oh, yeah it goes a long way <laughs> even if it means making a face mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> what you know some and, and i have quite an animated face and so sometimes that that i use that to to you know m make a point yeah. and so if you can add that little bit of you don't want to be over the top with it yeah. and you want to be with it but strategically placed it's a wonderful thing to bond with your audience yeah definitely i think it also puts people at ease especially if you're doing an interview or you're speaking with someone that's maybe not as comfortable as being on camera as you are yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, and yep. and um, um, and when you're sharing your knowledge, be as simplified as you can, mm -hmm. without being. How shall I say? Just you, streamlined and simplified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you will get to know from your audience if they want you to step it up more mm -hmm. or hold back. You know what? But I've found, in my experience, it, it, it's better to keep, don't put too much information at them. Mm -hmm. Give them simple, straightforward stuff and underscore it. Mm -hmm. Maybe once or twice. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. Good. Um, good Excuse <laughs> Bless you. Water. <laughs> So I'd love to hear about your best live broadcast. Um, do you have one that stands out in your mind as being just something that was awesome? And if so, what about it made it so distinct or special? I think uh, subject matter is, is always the important thing. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, what I found with a few of the lives that have been really good, I found that imparting some information, mm -hmm. a simple, simple information or takeaway that they can glean, mm -hmm. Adding some humor, mm -hmm. paying attention to, the, and read and uh, calling them by name. Mm -hmm. I you know use their name like hi Susan. Yes, thank you for that question. 
you know, you're absolutely right. Or, you know, I, I think maybe if we went in this direction, but calling them by people love to hear their name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's good know, advice. So that's, so I do that all the time now. Um, and, uh, and, and again, streamlining it, breaking it down. Like I said, for me, I find that doing two segments with a spot in between mm -hmm. and then I ended up showing, you know, the marketing stuff. Here's how you get in touch with me, mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. And then I always, just before I close, I give a quote that I've written on something with respect to beauty and then do my sign off. And I find that it's, um, that seems to be successful, but it's taken me a little while of test driving and doing different scenarios to get to that point where I found the final formula that works mm -hmm. so that everything that I'm putting out is, you know, on the money with respect to the market that I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're just nearing the end of our questions. Is there anything else that you would like to add about your business or your experience with Ecamm? Um, anything that everyone should know that's watching? Um, I can't think of another thing other than what I've said. Remember the vocal tip. <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to take that one. <laughs> take that one right to the bank. I love it. Good. Good. Uh, and, re and remember, um, you're judged and so is your channel on how you look. And that doesn't mean you have to be, you know, a movie star. I'm not talking about <laughs> I'm talking about just good grooming, good presentation. Mm -hmm. People will judge you on that factor. Whether what, wrong, yeah. And it's the world we live in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, oh, can I just add one other thing? Uh, when I ran across a technical difficulty uh, where I just wasn't, you know, I was doing a live and it was, supposed, it was, you know, I had announced it and it didn't come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did a live from my phone and just said, I haven't abandoned you. <laughs> technical difficulties. I will be doing the same next week. My apologies enjoy the rest of your day and people seem to enjoy the fact that i didn't just not bother yeah to know that's, so that's huge to think about yeah definitely well we really appreciate your time sharon thank you so much for making the time to come on um and for being an ecam live user we really appreciate your dedication oh you're welcome and i i as i said i'm a i'm a i'm a true ecam <laughs> team ecam i love it um, yeah. We'll be posting um, links to your channel so people can check uh, yes, uh, my, can check it out. Uh, my my uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Two Minute Tips. Awesome. T T W O Minute Tips, all one word. Mm -hmm. And my other advocacy channel is just Sharon Danley Advocacy. Great. And we'll and post I those in as well so people can easily click through and find them. Sure. And then on on the public page on on Facebook, it's uh, Sharon Danley Beauty. Mm -hmm. And if you want a private closed page for, for uh, you know, Aging with Strength, Style, and Grace, you can go to, um, it's a group page called uh, Goin' Gray and Love. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much, and thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thank you, Katie. Ciao. Bye, guys.